The value of surrounding yourself with positive people is not what you get from them, but how good a person you have become because of them. How would your life be different if you stopped focusing on what you didn't want and started focusing on what you do want? Let today be the day you establish a clear intent, make a plan, and take actions towards your intent. Politeness is the first thing people lose once they get the power. Scholars, theologians, and even poets have yet to be able to truly describe and touch upon the beauty, romance, and magic of a relationship built on 100% authenticity. If you don't know exactly where you're going, how will you know when you get there? They don't come through the back door the same as other groceries. They don't cower at the bottom of paper bags marked Liberty. They wave over the top. They don't stop to be checked off the receipt. They spill out onto the counter. No going onto shelves with cans in orderly lines like school children waiting for recess. No waiting, sometimes for years beyond the blue sell by date to be picked up and taken from the shelf. Greens don't stack or stand at attention. They aren't peas to be pushed around. Cans can't contain them. Boxed in, they would burst free. Greens are wild. Plunging them into a pot took some doing. Only lobsters fight more. Either way, you have to use your hands. Then, retrieving them requires the longest of my mother's wooden spoons, the one with the burnt end. Swept onto a plate like the seaweed after a storm, greens sit tall, dark and proud. If you are going to be successful, you need to give up the phrase, I can't, and all of its cousins, such as, I wish I were able to. What's money? A man is a success if he gets up in the morning and goes to bed at night, and in between does what he wants to do. Never run from the truth. It is always there. It never changes, save your energy. Pride and power fall when the person falls, but discoveries of truth form legacies that can be built upon for generations. God didn't give fear a body. God gave love a body. Let today be the day you stop having conflict between your actions and your goals and finally align your greatest intent with your purposeful actions, creating a universal symphony serenading your success. As with all other aspects of the narrative art, you will improve with practice but practice will never make you perfect. Why should it? What fun would that be? A person today who seems to have a great sense of self-esteem has his or her childhood days to thank for it. I've learned that no matter how inspired, fired up and motivated you might be, the dark clouds will always set in. The price tag you put on yourself decides your worth. Underestimating yourself will cost you dearly. Start shaping your own day. Start walking your own walk. This journey is yours. Take charge of it. Stop giving other people the power to shape your life. When you truly embrace your human impermanence, you connect with the power you have and influence you have over the time you have. Too much action with too little intent makes for wasteful exertion of energy and the confusion between movement and progress. Step out of your comfort zone. Comfort zones where your unrealized dreams are buried are the enemies of achievement. Leadership begins when you step outside your comfort zone. We are mathematical equations where your life is the sum of all choices you've made until now. The good news is you can change the equation so that you start making a difference in your life. Until one is committed, there is hesitancy, the chance to draw back, always ineffectiveness. Concerning all acts of initiative or creation, there is one elementary truth, that the moment one definitely commits oneself, then providence moves too. All sorts of things occur to help one that would otherwise never have occurred. A whole stream of events issues from the decision, raising in one's his favor all manner of incidents and meetings and material assistance which no man would have believed would have come his way. Whatever you think you can do or believe you can do, begin it. Action has magic, grace and power in it. You've been given the innate power to shape your life, but you cannot just speak change, you have to live change. 
Intent paired with action builds the bridge to success. You can't just want it. You have to do it. Live it. Be it. Success isn't something you have. It's something you do. You are where you are right now because of the actions you've taken or maybe the inaction you've taken. Remember how long you've been putting this off, how many extensions the gods gave you and you didn't use them. At some point, you have to recognize what the world it is that you belong to, what power rules it, and from what source you spring, that there is a limit to the time assigned you, and if you don't use it to free yourself, it will be gone and will never return. In your actions, don't procrastinate. In your conversations, don't confuse. In your thoughts, don't wander. In your soul, don't be passive or aggressive. In your life, don't be all about business. The chief task in life is simply this, to identify and separate matters so that I can say clearly to myself with our externals not under my control and which have to do with the choice I actually control. Where then do I look for good and evil? Not to uncontrollable externals, but within myself, to the choices that are my own. If a problem is fixable, if a situation is such that you can do something about it, then there is no need to worry. If it's not fixable, then there is no help in worrying. There is no benefit in worrying whatsoever. Do not anticipate trouble or worry about what may never happen. Keep in the sunlight. Do you remember the things you were worrying about a year ago? How did they work out? Didn't you waste a lot of fruitless energy on account of most of them? Didn't most of them turn out all right after all? Be careful what you water your dreams with. Water them with worry and fear, and you will produce weeds that choke the life from your dream. Water them with optimism and solutions, and you will cultivate success. Always be on the lookout for ways to turn a problem into an opportunity for success. Always be on the lookout for ways to nurture your dream. He is rich who owns the day, and no one owns the day who allows it to be invaded by worry, fret, and anxiety. Don't worry about anything. Worrying never solved anything. All it does is distort your mind. Anxiety does not empty tomorrow of its sorrows, but only empties today of its strength. It is our very fear of the future that distorts the now, that could lead to a different future if we dared to be whole in the present. Man is not worried by real problems so much as by his imagined anxieties about real problems. There's only one way to happiness, and that is to cease worrying about things which are beyond the power of our will. It is our very fear of the future that distorts the now, that could lead to a different future if we dared to be whole in the present. Man is not worried by real problems so much.